So hey guys, welcome back to my channel. Hope you are doing extremely well. And this is your very own mass code at this side. And today I am here to solve yet another problem of GFG POTD. So it says insert an element at the bottom of a stack, right? Okay. So what is given to us? We have been provided with a stack, right? So this stack is doing something like four, three, two, one, eight. This is my initial configuration of the stack right okay now i have to add two now i have to add two at the bottom like on this position right and then the stack would look something like two four three two one eight right i just added the given element at the bottom and rest all the elements remain in the same order right and my final answer would look something like this right i have to run the stack you can see that i'm getting an input as stack and I'm returning a stack, right? So that is no problem. Now, to solve this problem, you should have understanding of what it is, what a stack is, and how can you uh, modulate your answer to get your uh, correct answer, right? So let us understand a stack first. So stack can be understood if you know, if you have seen uh, your mother putting up the plates, like pile of the plates, right? So how does she put it? It she puts it like this is plate number one, then this is plate number two, this is plate number three. This is plate number four. This is plate number five, right? Okay. So this is plate number one, two, three, four, five in order, right? Okay. So one, two, three, four, five represents the order in which the plates were uh, put, right? This was the first one to be put. This is the second one to be put. Third one, fourth one, fifth one, right? Okay. But now if I send you in the kitchen and I say, bring a plate. If I send you in the kitchen and I say, bring a plate, what will you do? You will take out this plate, right? You will take out this plate. This plate was actually put on the last operation. It was the last to be put in. So it was the last input in some sense, right? It was the last input in the stack. But it was taken out the first. So it is the first output. So this can be converted to LIFO. That is last input, first output, right? Last in, first out. And that is the basic terminology of stack. So stack says, Whatever you put in last, I will input that, uh, I will output that on first. So this array, if this is my array as input to a stack, right? So my first element is four. So my stack would look like something like this, right? This is my stack. My four will come here. Then my pointer will move right three. My pointer will move right two. My pointer will move right one. My pointer will move right eight. Now. This is this would this would something my stack would look like, right? Okay. Now stack only allows us to pull out the first element. Stack allows us only to take out the first element, right? Only to take out the first element. That should be not a problem to understand. So I can take eight out. Then only I can get access to one. Then I only can I can get access to two. Then only I can get access to three. Then only I can get access to four, right? So that is clear to us. Now, it is given to us that we have to add this two at this position that is below four. So when I have to add this two below four, I will have to take out eight, one, two, three, four, then put two here, and then again put four, three, two, one, eight, right? So what I'm doing is I'm taking all of them out eight, one, two, three, four, right? So if I take out eight, I store it somewhere. If I take out one, I store it somewhere. I take out two, I store it somewhere. I take out three, I store it somewhere. I take out four, I store it somewhere, right? And then I put my two into the stack. So my stack now contains two and all of the above things are gone because I have taken them out. So all of things, these things become empty, right? So this is my stack something look like right now after taking out all these elements, right? Right, and you can see the stack. They were put in the order four, three, two, one, eight, and the order has been reversed. It has been made to eight, one, two, three, four. It has been made to eight, one, two, three, four. Now, my answer needs to be four, three, two, one, eight. That is, I have to put four first, then three, then two, then one, then eight. Now, there are two approaches to do so. There are two approaches. One of the approach is to use an array. As I present these elements in the form of an array, you can start a loop from here, that is 4, and put 4 into it. So you put 4, 
then you put three, then you put two, then you put one, then you put eight. That is a simple array implementation. That is a simple array implementation. Also, you can do. Also, you can do that. Will, that is that is not to think uh, to complex up the things up. But that can also be done. What I am doing is I am using another stack. What I am doing is I am using another stack. So instead of storing them in an array, I will store them in a stack. So what would my stack look like? So my stack would look like the auxiliary stack I am taking would look like first eight was taken out. So eight first, then one, then two, then three, and followed by four. This is what my auxiliary stack would look like, right? Okay. Now I wanted to push them into the order four, three, two, one, eight, right? Now is my stack giving me the same answer? That is, if I put uh, pop out elements from this stack, like I pop this out and push it inside, so it will be four. After that, three. After that, two. After that, one. After that, eight. That is also working. Okay. So what we are seeing is we have firstly seen what is the stack. We understood what do we mean by leaf four, that is last input and first output. Then we have discussed two approaches. Then we discuss two approaches, whether using an array or using a stack, right? You can use any of them, but I feel somewhere in the back of the mind, right? Interviewer might feel more good with the approach of stack because you are using your algorithmic skills more here, right? Okay. This is an easy problem, right? And I don't think that this much needs much explanation right now, but I would like to tell you the time complexity and the space complexity, right? Talking about the time complexity, our first task was to pop all the elements out, right? So that took us of an element of n time. First task was to pop the all of elements, right? This all were taken out, right? Okay. After that, we pushed in the element that was given to us that took only O of one, right? And then we push all the elements from the auxiliary stack or the auxiliary array back into the stack that will be O of n. So all in all, it is an O of n time complexity. Talking about the space complexity now. You can see we took an example uh, help of an auxiliary array or a stack that is containing exactly an elements. So space complexity is also O of n, right? That should not be a problem, and we should move to the code really soon. Okay. So I would request you that if you have not subscribed to my channel, please consider subscribing it, right? Okay. So stack of int name it as st, right? Okay. Now, sorry, this is my auxiliary stack, right? Auxiliary. Right. Okay. So while my stack is not empty, my stack is not empty. That is, if stack is empty, it will return one, and it will convert to zero, and I will break out of the loop. But if it is not empty, it will return zero, and this exclamation mark will convert it into one, and my loop will continue. What will I do? I will take my auxiliary array, and I will push the top element of stack. Right. This st dot top gives me the element that to, that is to be taken out from the stack. And then I will just pop that element that I have taken into the auxiliary array, right? Okay. Now my auxiliary array contains my stack in the reverse order, and my stack is empty, right? Now my next operation was to push x into it, right? My next operation was to push x into the stack. Now while my auxiliary is not empty right now, right? Then I will have to add all the elements that are into the auxiliary into the stack again. What will I do? I will just say st dot push auxiliary dot and then auxiliary dot pop right this should give me the answer in my stack right so uh, return st i guess right so let's see if it runs compile and run also if you're new here don't forget to subscribe to my channel and if you were able to grasp some thought, something from this please 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 do consider liking to my video and increasing my reach okay so you can see this is a big day for me because i've just completed my 100 day streak and it means a lot to me I'm sure that I'm, I would have not been able to do this without your support and love. So thank you for watching my videos. Thank you for supporting me in this journey. And uh, we will continue to do so until we get two, 200 days, then 300, then 400. And I will continue to do so till you will uh, su support me and you will love me, right? Okay. Thank you. Have a nice day.